Here we're going to use Bernoulli's equation to calculate the flow out of a coffee urn that's 60 centimeters tall. It's dispensing coffee through a nozzle. And the question is, how long does it take to pour a 200 milliliter cup of coffee? So let me pause first and just draw a diagram representing the, the problem we're going to do. So there's a system where we're filled to level 60 centimeters with coffee and first thing we want to do is write down the Bernoulli equation change in pressure over density velocity squared over 2 and then the potential energy term can be equal to 0 now this term 0 because we're at atmospheric pressure at the top or assume the top of the urn is all open and then we're atmospheric pressure at the outlet where the liquid's leaving also we're assuming that the coffee urn has a large diameter relative to how much liquid's flowing out. In other words, we're assuming that the liquid level drops pretty slowly. So the first approximation, we're going to assume the liquid level is not changing, which means the first approximation, U1, is equal to zero. That's approximately true. We're trying to solve for U2. So this equation, Bernoulli's equation, then becomes U2 squared over 2 minus U1 squared over 2, but of course, we said that 0 plus G, Z2 minus Z1 equals 0. So we can sub two numbers in. We're going to solve for U2 squared as 2G, well, delta Z in this case is 60 minus 12 centimeters. And so this becomes 2 times 9.81 meters per second squared times 48 centimeters. Of course, the units of such we're going to have to convert, so let's, let's do that. So U2 squared equals 2 times 9.81 meters per second squared, 48 centimeters. And let's convert everything to centimeters. So 100 centimeters is 1 meter. Now we see units are going to be centimeters squared per second squared, which is what we expect for U2 squared. I calculate that number. 94,176 centimeters squared per second squared, which means U2 is the square root of that, and so that's 306.9. That's the velocity leaving. What we're interested in is the volumetric flow rate. So the volumetric flow rate at point 2 is going to be the cross-section area of the, the nozzle times u2 so that's pi d squared over 4 times u2 so let me pause and substitute numbers so substitute in the diameter 0.7 calculate the volumetric flow rate now we want 200 milliliters to flow out so 200 milliliters well one milliliter is the same as one centimeter cubed and 118.1 centimeter cubed per second gives us check units 1.7 seconds i've only used two significant figures because that's all at most that we have in the problem so about two seconds really for to fill the coffee cup using bernoulli's equation 